What makes teaching at prep so incredibly special? Teaching at prep is incredibly special because of the emphasis placed on the whole person here. Educating the mind, the body, and the spirit of us all. Educating the whole student. Educating the whole teacher. In my own classroom, I'm encouraged to grapple with tough subjects, tough themes, like empathy. In our study of certain pieces of literature, like Of Mice and Men, A Lesson Before Dying, and To Kill a Mockingbird, we discuss the importance of empathy, and not only to be empathetic towards others, but to consider that theme in the course of our own thoughts, our own actions. The knocks on my door are what I love as a teacher here. Students pile in, Mrs. Lombardi, I have a question for you. Absolutely. Mrs. Lombardi, I don't understand this. Can you explain it to me further? Mrs. Lombardi, I have a moment of success that I want to share. I made the winning basket in the game last night. I hit a double in my baseball game. These conversations are contagious. These conversations are the energy that fuel prep, that fuel me as a teacher. And what I love the most is it doesn't just hold true for the student population. It's also a huge part of the faculty, of the administration. From the top down, we are supported, we are inspired. And that inspiration is what makes me wanna get up every single morning and be here. A great prep moment for me, I think back to the fall of 2020. I was asked to give the sophomore welcome back speech. As I thought, how am I going to generate enthusiasm, generate inspiration for a class that has just spent time in a darkness because of COVID-19, because of illness, because of isolation, and even the loss of loved ones. Well, as I spoke to the sophomore class that day, I recognized a resiliency in their voices. I recognized that they had the energy, the desire to be back on campus more than ever before. They encouraged me to want to continuously encourage them back to campus, back to my classroom. And on that day, in speaking to the sophomore class, I recognized that our prep students would proceed back into the fall of 2020 with gratitude, with empathy, with patience. But above all, they would proceed with the light, the light that we needed to emerge from the darkness, the light that we needed to fuel our systems here, the power, the energy, and the light to drown out all darkness.